Let's look at the basic and necessary building elements to generate energy. One, air currents. Two, static axis. Three, rotors. Four, aerodynamic shields. Five, buildings. Six, frame every three floors. Seven, generators. Now we will assemble the building sequentially. The vertical wind farm rotation is created by airflow, for example, wind. The aerodynamic shield prevents the negative impact of the airflow on the rotation of the wind farm and eliminates the noise exposure. Aerodynamic shields optimize and direct the airflows, wind, at a tangent to the rotation circle, which increases the efficiency of the wind farm, the so-called leverage effect. Performance does not depend on the direction of airflow. The concentration of airflow is created by streamlined structures, lined in the shape of a flower, which form a building, giving the whole structure of the installation a monolithic architectural form. Possibilities of application, residential spaces, office spaces, vertical hydroponic farms. Let's look at the advantages of VTER technology over classic wind farms. The VTER building harmonizes with the existing buildings and the environment. Safety. The low speed design in the VTER project ensures that there is no noise, no infrasound. Power can be generated at wind speeds of 4 meters per second. Possible building height of over 190 meters. Possibility to integrate various types of energy storage harvesters. Possibility of airflow concentration in contrast with classic wind farms. Large area of the blades, more energy. Direction of airflow at a tangent line to the rotation circle of the blades, more efficiency. Workability independent of wind direction. Speed of rotation, four to seven RPM. Vibrations are excluded. The energy industry is ready to take a step into the future. This was the statement with which the experts of the international forum called Technoprom started the discussion. Dennis Tyaglen, inventor. There is an analog, the Pearl River Tower Building. It provides itself with 10% of energy and our building provides itself completely. Gennady Tumanik, Professor, Doctor of Architecture. I think that's a big opening for you. It has to be developed. It's a very promising area. I think that you will definitely get support from those specialists who understand what this is and what it may become in the future of urban planning, architecture, energy supply, in solving global technical problems of modern times. So I congratulate you. Thank you. Vasily Fomin, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Academician of Russian Academy of Sciences. Here is the initial idea. It's a very good one. To make the wind move inward, that is, the air flows around this building. The building is made in such a way that the wind from either side, it gets there to the wind turbine. The rotation is further transmitted to the machines and then the energy is generated. This axis is stationary. The wind turbines are independent. 
you rush into a new reality. I always enjoy discussing interesting projects. Go for it. Keep it up. Vladimir Fortov, President of the Academy of Sciences. This type of building, it should be quite common, especially in Southeast Asia, in Dubai, and even here in Moscow city area. So be ready to work. Energy source. Another thing is that it will all have to be implemented. Yes, I understand that your business is becoming very technological today. Just go ahead. Dennis Tayaglan, project author. I am sure that this technology will be used as often as people use the elevator today. Invest in our startup. Send this video to your friends and to the offices of construction companies. Growing urban populations and technological advances. The spread of this technology will keep our planet habitable. Invest in our project. It will accelerate the introduction of technology into our lives. 